was, you've been around for a couple of years. Yes. yes. How, how long have you been building cars? Uh, uh, 70 years. Right. 70 years. It's not possible. Year. You, you look like you're 60. I'm a bad lady. Somehow, maybe. Fireball. 70 years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's got a new book out, which we just I just grabbed, called uh, Gene Winfield's TV and Movie Cars. Amazing book. It's, it's, it's so chock full of stuff. It yeah. blows my mind. We're here at Auto Books today to have Gene sign it. Will you sign this one? Yes, of course. Okay. Space Shuttle Galileo for the Circuit T I remember interviewing you about that years yes. ago. Yes. And we went out to his shop, which is out, out in the middle of the desert. It's like like a shop out in the middle of the Sahara. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Why, why, do you, why, do you, why do you love these so much out there? Well, I, I needed space. You know. <laughs> There's plenty of and that. And the property went up so high around the LA area. When I sold my little place in Kenosha Park, I couldn't find anything I could afford, so I finally found that by accident. Went out there and bought five acres, and I love it. But how I got into Hollywood, uh -huh. I, I put my reactor car in an open trailer, and I drove from Modesto to Hollywood. Didn't know anybody, so I found a Fox studio. Went there and I went up to the gate and I, I calmed myself a little bit. I said, I heard the transportation department on the see this car. <laughs> I said, Oh yeah, go right down here, turn left. And then that that person in charge in, in touch with all the other studios. So for two or three days I went to every studio with that car and that's how I got my foot in the door. And then now we have it on the pages in this book. That is the best story ever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.